We are almost to December as of the making of this video. And that yeah. means we're almost to the GTA 6 trailer. Now, Rockstar promised that the first trailer for the new game, which we think is going to be called GTA 6, give yeah. your best guess. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm saying. We think it's going to be GTA 6. But what if it turns out to be a GTA Mobile trailer, though? I'm just saying. But we are in December. It is happening. But let's be real, man. If it turns out to be a GTA Mobile trailer, we're all going to be looking like this, bro. We're all going to be looking like this. It's going to be insane. The salt is going to be crazy. And the funniest thing of them all, I already covered this. Everybody talked about it. But dog, these suckers dead ass announced that we're going to be getting three games. And it will be available on Netflix on December the 14th. The GTA 3, the GTA YC. And the GTA San Andreas, uh, we're talking about that defective edition. It's finally coming to mobile. Oh, shit. Oh, it is coming to mobile, ladies and gentlemen. So what if uh, GTA 6 trailer is not real? And what if it's... Uh, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. What if it's a mobile trailer? If that happens, man, that's going to be crazy. Like the video if you do not want that to happen. <laughs> Subscribe if you're brand new. Let's check this. Yes, if it's not called that in the comments, will be released early December. Now we have no idea what exactly that entails. It definitely means we're- We never have any idea of it Rockstar Games, bro. We're less than what? Two or three weeks away from getting it at the absolute most. And uh, it's pretty exciting times if you're a GTA fan and if you're a gamer. Yeah! Listen, man, it's not gonna be that exciting if it turns out to be a mobile trailer on December the 14th. If this is the only one, bruh, um, I swear to God, bro, like, Netflix even released a trailer, and it's the same trailer. It's the defective edition. All they have is just Netflix logo at the top, top right. That's uh, simply put, that's the only thing that changed. Now, we're gonna talk about new features, new okay. details. Okay. Things coming from Red Dead Redemption 2 that could actually be brought over to oh, Grand damn. Theft Auto 6. Stick around that. because there's some really cool stuff in here. If any of it ends up being true, it's just going to solidify GTA 6 as the most immersive real game out there. I mean, it's, it's going to be crazy. Now... With the advancements of Rockstar and what they've got going on, I mean, it's been over a decade. You mean the advancement of their wallets with the GTA Plus? Since the launch of the last Grand Theft Auto title, and the studio made some incredible technical leaps with Red Dead Redemption 2. So yeah. today, we go over all the carryovers, all the improvements, the adjustments, things Yo, that- Yo, can you actually believe it that this is apparently a mod? This is- Stop the cap. No cap. This is a mod. Like, Sega's actually made. This is made by gamers. This is made by gamers. So, the gamers made a mod for Red Dead Redemption 2. And it looks this good, though. Listen, man. If only video games, publishers, and devs hired actual gamers that plays the game. I know. Crazy, right? I know. But, like, poor. Poor. <laughs> I know, crazy, crazy stuff. If only they hired gamers, if only. It's, if you like them from Red Dead 2, you may be happy because they could actually end up in GTA 6. Oh, wow. Now, a recent thread on the GTA 6 subreddit started making the rounds and it raised a lot of interesting points. User SadXHour made a comprehensive list of all the features that were introduced or refined in RDR 2. And... He said those are likely to be brought over to Grand Theft Auto 6. And there's some interesting ones that are worth discussing because they're going to go a long way in making the new game feel like a huge jump from GTA 5. Now, I it's easy so. to forget that GTA 5 launched on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 yeah. over a decade ago. And nah, 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 nah. We never forgot. Hashtag never forget. It first came out on the fat PS3 and the 360. Then it came out on the PS4 and Xbox One. Then it came out on PC. And then it also came out on uh, Sony Pony 5s, the PS5, and the Xbox, uh, Xbox Series Bruh. S, Xbox Series S as well. Okay? I swear to God, man, this better be a GTA 6 or else, bruh. Like, I, if this happens to be a mobile trailer, I'm gonna become a monk. I'll settle myself on a mountain in Tibet. I'll dead as become a monk. I'll never chase, in fact, never chase the pom pom guys, but... I'll never, I'll never get married, bro. Like, I'll, I'll just become a monk, man. I'll be on the mountains, bro. Like, I'll be a loner, man. I'm still a loner, but after that, I'm gonna be mega loner. You feel what I'm saying? Rockstar has come up with some new details in their world since then. For example, it's likely that GTA 6 will feature the player's inventory and weapons as physical representations on the character, meaning the inventory will probably be a bit more limited than in the past. 
But that uh -huh. means we'll actually get to carry our stuff with us. Although, I have mixed feelings on it. I mean, it's kind of a GTA tradition for characters to be True. able to carry a bunch of guns in their pockets and whip them out at a moment's notice, which Dog, is... Dog, like, come on, man. If, like, a skinny-ass dude in GTA 5 was able to carry, like, 20 weapons or however weapons, let me know in the comments below. Like, let me know how many can you carry at, at once on the weapon wheel because I'm, I believe it's, like, 20 or 30, something like that. Bro, that is for a skinny-ass dude. For a Lucy, for Lucy with the big ass Buddha, bruh, she better be able to carry like a hundred at the very least, though. Hundred weapons at the bruh. very least. Like the video if you agree, bro. Like that Buddha is so big, bro, it better be able to, man. Something Red Dead 2 did away with for the sake of immersion. Now in RDR 2, you can only carry what could physically be put on your character model, which made yeah. limited player freedom, but it made the game feel more lifelike. So you tell me. Do you want GTA 6 to have the weapon wheel and magic? I mean, do you want the bottomless Mary Poppins pockets like past GTA games? Or do you want Rockstar to use the RDR2 inventory system uh, for the sake of immersion? Before we move on, guys, if, yeah! if you get anything from G2A... Yeah! Agonized system from RDR2, but obviously on a much larger degree. Oh RDR2 didn't have nearly oh as many NPCs God. wandering around the map as the average oh GTA God. game does, so that allowed Rockstar to experiment a little bit with the NPC interactions, and personally, I think it would be pretty cool to see the interaction system expanded upon and applied to the entirety of the GTA 6 map. According to the leaked gameplay footage from last year, that may be what uh, we're getting. Yeah, there we go, boys! There we go! Bum last year, boys! Last year, everybody clap it up! According to the point to be noted! This is all according to the footage that we had last year, which is, I mean, damn, bro. Man, if only we had part two of the leaks, bro. If only we had another gameplay leak. It would have spawned in so much more content, so many more videos. This all is happening because we had, and Sikas are, you know, speculating, talking about the leaks that we had last year. I mean, the, the leaks were absolutely massive, though. The leaks were insane, even we covered like so much off it, we still covering it, you feel what I'm saying? But can you imagine if we had part two of that leak? That would have spawned in so much Bruh. more content. I just almost, I, I wish that, I, I hope that we have another gameplay leak right after we have the trailer, though I want to see like an updated Bunda gameplay, you feel what I'm saying? The leak gameplay featured some kind of greet and antagonize system, but it wasn't clear just how much it had been changed from RDR2, yeah, so we'll have true. to wait and see. We'll True. have to see if we truly will be able to walk around Vice City and interact with every single NPC, which I think we're going to be able to. But at the very least, True. it's going to be a huge step from the previous GTA games, where your interactions with NPCs were very limited, honestly, to just punching them in the face on the sidewalk or stealing the car. It was pretty much non-existent, Now, weapon though. animations are also likely going to be greatly improved from GTA 5, as RDR2 featured very realistic animations for using and even cleaning weapons. That's another big mm. thing. Cleaning weapons. I'd also imagine there's going to be much more accurate footprints left behind characters when walking through things like mud, sand, or some kind of soft terrain. It's also all but confirmed that clothes will get dirty over time. Characters' hair will grow as time progresses in the oh, game. Oh, wow. Rockstar is amazing at coming up with little immersive... I just hope that we have that feature straight from GTA San Andreas. How many of you guys played uh, GTA San Andreas? I remember, man, when the game starts, uh, you do a couple of missions, and then you can actually go into the gym, right? You can actually do, like, hundreds and hundreds of reps. You can do so many reps, and you can even exercise. We actually had, like, a like a dead-ass uh, gym feature in San Andreas, which is absolutely wild to say for... For a game that I believe came out in 2004 or 2005, my memory is uh, foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom right now. Bruh. But but yeah, it had a dedicated gym system. I don't, I'm not even sure why we didn't get that like later on in GTA 4, GTA 5. I truly hope that we have that in GTA 6 because I truly want to like go to Cluck and Bell, uh, get my main character Jason looking like a stud donut. You feel what I'm seeing? and hit him up with like 500 calories, uh, 5,000 calories, donuts, and, and uh, Big Macs out, out there, but, and also like feed, gotta feed to Lucia too, man, because uh, that Bruna needs to be big as well, so yeah, you feel what I'm seeing? Details like that, so I honestly can't wait to see how GTA 6 improves upon what RDR2 are. We need that system, and also when you go to the gym, you can actually become skinny as well, like, uh, uh, or, or more like a stud muffin as well. Perhaps? We'll even be able to lose our hats in certain situations, pick them back up, or lose them if we walk away. 
It would add just a little bit of personality to the clothing system. I know it's not a big deal, not but big if deal. that happened, physical items in the game world, you could lose. I already know there'd be a group of people in the new GTA Online. Dog, that's cool and all, but we gotta talk about bigger stuff than that, bro. What What's up with like the wanted level? I want the wanted level to be six stars. Six star wanted level. And also, speaking on that, whatever happened to that leaker, that leaked the Lucia Bernardo? Whatever happened to him? Oh, shit! Yeah, right? Y'all suckers remember, right? First, the judge uh, the judge said that he's a retard deadass, though. He said that he's mentally challenged, he's mentally not stable. We're gonna let the leaker go, right? Like, if he accidentally leaked the gameplay, he just accidentally leaked the gameplay. Then later on, the FBI got their schlongs involved, and they sadly found out that he uh, stayed in a hotel. He had bought an Amazon Fire Stick. Yep, Amazon Fire Stick, guys. Uh, Bruh. He used that to leak the GTA 6 gameplay. That was like, like a couple of months ago. That was last year, right? So he did that, ended up getting caught with his pants down. The FBI told this information, presumably, and uh, the judge found out. And then later on, they, they figured out that the, the leaker is not a retard. I mean, yeah, it's good that he's mentally stable, obviously, but it's like, damn, though, now he's gonna be worried about dropping the soap, though. Now he's gonna stay locked up. They got, they got the leaker chained up, bro. They got the leaker chained up. His ass is chained up right now, so I'm not sure what's worse, uh, being being a retard and then being let go, or or they're like, hey man, you're not a retard, uh, you're gonna do the time. I, I I know there's a saying, if you do the crime, you do the time, but but like, damn, bro, the br brother just leaked the gameplay, so what? So what? People got to see the gameplay, man. So what? People got to see the Lucia Bruna, bro. So what? People saw that the game is real. People waited decades, years for this game, bro. So what people saw like this small ass one hour long gameplay. So what people saw those pixels on their screen, on their phones, on their laptop. Like the video if you agree, man. You will make it through Hashtag free the leaker. Goal to run around and steal as many people's hats as possible. Now, I'm also hoping the ability to- Here, this guy's talking about stealing hats, and my guy didn't even steal anything. He just simply leaked the gameplay, though. Simple as that. And Rockstar still have the rights to the game. They still had the game. They still got the game, High you know? PCs like... from RDR2 will make it into GTA 6, which, are, according to the leaked gameplay footage, that's happening. During some of that gameplay, uh -huh. you can see NPCs zip-tied while player carries out a heist, and I'm sure you're also going to be able to pick them up, move them around if you really want to. Similar to how it worked in RDR2. Dang it's also believed there will be some kind of weight and muscle gain loss system, but that's crazy if I that's going to so. be cosmetic so. or actually affects your gameplay. Maybe if your character builds up their muscle mass, they'll be able to pick up NPCs and move them around with ease, whereas a weaker character will be better at sneaking... Pick up NPCs, my guy. Just say, like, how it is. Like, you probably want to say, like, hey, go around and pick up baddies, guys, in real life. Don't go around and chase the pom pom, okay? Don't chase the pom pom. But in GTA 6, I mean, you can practice. You can get your game up. You feel what I'm seeing around since they're lighter, but also struggle to physically move or intimidate the NPCs. That would be crazy, uh -huh. right? I mean, it's crazy. also believed that GTA 6 crazy. will come with the ability True. to fire warning shots as a way to intimidate NPCs without needing to actually touch them. So that could make up for a smaller, <clears> less muscular character, assuming muscle mass actually does affect gameplay. Now, as we've discussed in previous videos, it's also believed that law enforcement will behave differently in GTA 6, almost like a middle ground between RDR2 and GTA 5. Instead of arriving on the scene and immediately shooting to kill, law enforcement will try to arrest you before resorting to lethal force. In addition to that, oh, you won't yeah, actually get a- Thank God, man. Clap it up for the GTA law enforcement because they were surely acting like retards in the, the, the previous game. Simply simple as that. Like, Sega's have only like two star one level and then you start hearing like- like, dog, like, give me a break, bro. Like, yo, come on, man. Just stop with that, bro. It's only two star. It's not like a three star. I mean, whenever it's three star, then we hear the. D <laughs> when it's three star wanted level, Sigas bring in choppers, though. Sigas bring in helicopters, police choppers. I mean, damn, bro. Like, it's only three stars, bro. It's so only three star at like maybe it, I I truly do believe that we need like a ten star one. <laughs> we need a 
We need a we need a 10 star wanted level like you know star star number one okay first wanted level you know uh, they are politely asking you cannot do that bro you cannot do that warning warning you have star uh, first wanted level warning only second star wanted level then they like to they're like okay you know if you don't if you don't stop we're gonna like we're gonna arrest you third a third star then they actually like start to arrest you uh, four star they chase you down and fifth star they start to like shoot you down you, you be like, i know because they these sons of these sons of female dogs they had like a 20 star one level on that gta6 leaker you feel what i'm saying so it only makes sense for wanted level on, immediately right? upon committing a crime like other rockstar games instead you'll seemingly be able to get away from the crimes if nobody sees it happen, or if you successfully manage to intimidate the witnesses before they call the cops. Now, the Reddit thread doesn't mention the leaked reworks to the cops in GTA 6. It's also believed that cops are going to have completely different strategies. Instead oh, of just wow. spawning in near a player, they're going to have to be deployed from the nearest police station. Instead of zooming oh, right God. at you, they're instead going to try to create a perimeter. Yo, thank God they're not going to be spawning out of NPC's butthole like uh, it was Cyberpunk uh, 2077. You feel what I'm saying? I, I like that. I like that. I like that. I, I, love to, I love to hear that. But also, like, why spawn from the near uh, police headquarters? Uh, don't they Don't they patrol around? Don't the cops patrol around? Um, we're surely going to have the patrol vehicles so they can do a system. I mean, after all, we heard that pattern. We heard them file that pattern where it said that we're going to have realistic NPCs, realistic cars driving, realistic cops as well. So they can certainly make it happen where... You know, all the patrol uh, patrol vehicles that are moving around the Los, uh, not Los Santos, uh, the Miami, the Vice City. Bruh. Uh, and, and if there's a crime, I mean, there's crime, then they, they could be the, the first responders. Perimeter, so you can't escape. It's also possible there's some kind of disguise system in the game like RDR2 had. So if you commit a crime and you are seen, you could buy yourself a little time. Wear a disguise. Keep your identity a secret. Yep, I love that. I mean, that. the cops in GTA 6 are going to be a lot harder to deal with than in previous games, but that is going to add to the immersion. Yep, so it true. sounds like a major part true. of the gameplay loop in GTA 6 will be committing crime. Shocker, right? Yeah. And wow. keeping off the police. Wow! Wow! Police radar. Another shocker. <laughs> it's, it may not be the traditional GTA way of doing things when it comes to the evolution, but it's good. After a decade of GTA 5 cops, I'm ready for new. Now speaking Yo, of I truly, I truly hope that even in Vice City we have horses so we can go like I, I truly want to see the horses Bruh. as well, man. Uh, like the video if you want to see the horse and the horses. Realism, some have suggested that bodies will decompose Bruh. in GTA 6 instead horses. of simply despawning, but I don't believe that one. There may have been speculation that the body decomposition system from RDR2 would make it over, I just don't think so. For one thing, there would be way more NPCs running around at once in GTA 6 than ever in RDR 2, meaning so. there would be so. way more dead bodies around the map, and if the bodies stay there and continuously decompose, it's going to start becoming a technical hurdle. But on top of that... Yeah, your PlayStation 5 and Series X is just probably going to burn at that point, let's be real, from the GPU meltdown. RDR 2 takes place in the Wild West. GTA 6, modern city. If a dead body was spotted in the middle of a city, obviously the authorities would be called. It wouldn't just be sitting there forever. Maybe if you killed the NPC in a place where nobody finds the body, it would stay. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Dude, okay. what I'm noticing right now is that the, 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 the expectations are sky high. <laughs> the expectations are so high that so there's like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Oh, you know? oh, I'm shaking. If we kill somebody in the game, then their dead body should stay there and decompose. It's going to take ages. Bro, bro, like, come on, man. It's not going to be like that, bro. Like, that's just... You're asking way too much. We, we're not in the year 2075. We don't have PlayStation 20 as we speak, okay? It's gonna take some time. I just hope that the Lucia Burna... Bro, simply put, okay? I hope the Lucia Burna is not gonna be nerfed. I hope the game is good. I hope the gameplay is fun. And I hope the game is enjoyable. Simple as that. These are my only expectations and this is all I want. Like the video if you agree. There'll be plenty of in-game excuses for corpses to be removed by law enforcement once another NPC sees it, reports it, smells it, something. I don't know if it's going to be that gritty. But speaking of bodies, the Reddit thread suggests that GTA 6 will feature some kind of looting system where bodies can be looted or physically moved once an NPC is taken out. I think that's likely. If you get rid of somebody, you're probably going to be able to go through their pocket. Bro, honestly, bro, you should stop doing YouTube and just go ahead and join Rockstar Games, become a dev, and implement all of these uh, things that you are... 
you're talking about, man. I would love to see that, honestly, though. I would love to see that because you got great imagination, my friend. You got great ideas, okay? We love to hear that. We love to hear that. Just join Rockstar Games. Rockets take whatever they're carrying, and I'm pretty certain you'll be able to move the body somewhere so it can't be spotted right away, especially if you're trying to complete an objective without alerting the authorities. Mm. So there you have it. There Little immersive it. details that if they end up being added to the game are just going to add to the game. Let me know. <laughs> Yo, okay. We're going to laugh and sing. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, recently we had the gameplay map Bruh. break as well. We've done the entire walkthrough of the GTA 6 map. Deadass, click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there.